Good morning, good morning, and happy Saturday. This is a day that the Lord has made. We're rejoicing, and we're glad in it. Welcome to the special edition of Walking 1K with GG. Of course, I am GG, also known as co-pastor Gail M. Gilmore, and... James Gilmore, we thank God for you. All right, yes. Pastor JG, yep, yes. he's known as uh, Pastor of Grace and Twine Ministries. All right, all right, all right. Yes, we are wrapping up GEM's Children's Outreach Project. And first of all, we want to thank you all for supporting this project. We're just yes. wrapping it up today. Yes. And uh, we want to thank um, people such as Samari Welday from Bajor Stegan, Sweden, <laughs> Mr. Rudolph Lawrence, Mr. Walter Moody, Ms. Jacqueline Jacobs, Ms. Kathy Worthen, Ms. Diana Carey, Ms. Edna Dukes, Ms. Vanessa Johnson, and also Lynette and James Gilmore Jr. They also walked with me previously on Walking 1K with Gigi, the special edition. Yeah. But this morning, yeah. it is a blessing to walk with my very favorite walking partner, both on the track and in life. None other than my partner for almost 42 years, y'all, Pastor James E. Gilmore Sr. And guess what? He has a gym nugget for this morning on the special Saturday. And it is, I believe, that God always can do the impossible. Take it away, Pastor. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for having me on Walking with Gigi, 1K with Gigi. Praise the Lord. I am blessed to be able to be out here, to be able to walk. Mm -hmm. Amen. I thank God for you. Amen. Well, my gym nugget this morning, amen, I believe. Uh, that God can do the impossible. Yes. Amen. So I thank God for that because I owe it all to my parents and my grandmother and grandfather. Amen. Which put a lot of things into my life mm -hmm. because they let me think and believe that God can do the impossible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And mm -hmm. I believe that because it was hard being young and saying, okay, God, 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 he can do the impossible. You know, that's that's hard to believe at a young age. Mm -hmm. But when you force mm -hmm. to believe in God, mm -hmm. amen, I thank God for uh, what he did and, 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 you know, a lot of things that, that God is showing us. Mm -hmm. Amen. I believe that, you know, he He really come into my life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for it. But one thing, a lot of people really don't know that God has done some impossible things in my life. Mm -hmm, Amen. So mm -hmm. I, 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 believe, I thank God for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, one thing is, when I first got out of high school, mm -hmm. uh, my mother and my grandmother, you know, they always, you know, God can do it. God can do it. Mm -hmm. And my father passed. Yeah. And that was a that was a big blow to me. Mm -hmm, Amen. Mm -hmm. To know that God is, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, is he there? Can can he do this for me? Mm -hmm. And I remember my grandmother saying that you know he can do the impossible. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. said, wow. I mm -hmm. said, you know, this is hard. Mm -hmm. Because when I got out of high school, then my father passed, mm -hmm. and it was a blow to me. So mm -hmm. she said, keep on going, keep on going, and I graduated mm -hmm. from high school. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for my grades had went up because I believed that he can do the impossible. Oh, yes. Yes. So when I went into military, I said, my goodness, they were saying that the, the MOS that I was going into, because I passed the ASVAB test. Okay. okay. And I maximized that. Right, right, you know, right, and I, right. And it was unbelievable that I passed. I, I thought I had failed it, but I did good on it. Mm -hmm. And they put me into the mechanical field on tanks. Mm-hmm. And they said, well, he must be able to have some kind of trade school or mechanics behind him in order to make that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they was talking about, well, I don't know if we should put him in that program. And they put me in a fast track program. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank God that I was still fresh out of high school with my math skills and everything I needed 
to do certain things to pass these tests that they had mm -hmm. for the county school in tanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought I couldn't, you know, I was thinking, I don't know if I could do this, mm -hmm. but God does the impossible. Oh, yes, he does. Amen. So You know how they say, won't he do it? Yeah. <laughs> and so I maxed that mm -hmm. test mm -hmm. to come out the tank school. They didn't have to send me to Detroit mm -hmm. like a lot of other people to send them to Detroit. Because that I thank God for Mr. Bowens and Mr. Pickett and high school, my high school math teachers, they really put something in me. Right, right, to, right, to, right. To, to, to pass these math skills. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, it was still fresh in my mind and everything. And I thank God for it. Mm -hmm. And they sent me to Germany. Mm. And when they sent me to Germany, God did some very impossible things that I could not believe. Wow. And I got those promotions and those ranks. And when I came back, and went back to Fort Hood. Mm -hmm. When I came back from uh, Germany and went to, back to Fort Hood, mm -hmm. I would could not believe it. They made me a tank commander. Okay. Okay. And, and I said, my goodness, but fast track that. Mm -hmm. Amen. God mm -hmm. still does the impossible. Oh, yes, he does. Because <laughs> after I got out the military, mm -hmm. and I did, I did achieve in the military, but God can show you what God can do mm -hmm. for you in the military. Mm -hmm. I thank God because I'm, I'm still believing in, in the possible. That's right. And my friends say, you know, people around you, the, the soothsayers, they say, well, yeah. you cannot uh, do this and you can't do that. You know, you, you, you can't listen to your friends. Mm -hmm. you got to be focused on what God can do for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Impossible. You know what the scriptures say? Yeah. All things are possible if you only believe. Yes. If you only yeah. believe. And that's what you're saying yeah. even this morning when you yeah. said in this gym nugget, yeah. I believe yeah. that God always can do the impossible. Yes. That is that's, yes. that's how the impossible yeah. happens when you do yeah. what? Believe. Right. Believe. So mm -hmm. once I had that mindset mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I put that mindset in order, mm -hmm. I went and jumped into marriage. Uh oh. Uh oh. And I uh -oh. said, Lord, if you're <laughs> being impossible, <laughs> I'm going to be married as long as they said forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We've been going on 42 years. Come on now. Come on My now. And some people God. say that's impossible. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I thank God for him because, you know, mm -hmm. he does the impossible. Oh, yeah. And never, you know, I was thinking about that scripture when I came out and I got married. Uh, it was in uh, what the, the uh, John the fifth chapter. Uh huh. In John the fifth chapter, uh, five through thirteen. Uh huh. I mean, you know, it was talking about the man that was on the side of the pool for thirty eight years. Mm hmm. And I had worked for thirty eight years. Oh, oh wow, you—that's right, 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 right. In the in the labor <laughs> market of being a uh, manager for you know the North Neighbor Shipyard. Uh -huh. And I said, well, wait a minute. Uh -huh. They put me in the mechanical department. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You remember when Jesus told him uh, to take up his bed and walk? Right, 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 right. My bed was in the mechanical <laughs> field. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But nevertheless, it behooved you to know uh -huh. that the impossible was God was still getting me ready for something he wanted me to do. Right. Which was ministry. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. And I started preaching the word of God and, mm -hmm. and teaching the word of God. And, and, you know, I didn't, you know, nobody wanted to preach or anything. But <laughs> this was something that was in my heart that mm -hmm. made me feel more pleasant. And, and things, it, it was the 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 uh, part that say, okay, maybe I can be delivered for what God wants me to do rather right. than what the world wants me to do. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. So the impossible thing was mm -hmm. when I took up my bed and I came out 38 years, mm -hmm. which this man was 38 years. You remember Jesus Eat, Christ yeah. said, get up and walk. Get up. I got up and walked. Mm. And now we are in the ministry and God can still do the impossible. Still. I don't let age stop me because mm -hmm. I still think that and believe mm -hmm. what my mother and grandmother and them said. I owe it to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. That 
I believe mm -hmm. that God can do the impossible. Oh, yeah. If you don't believe me, look at a lot of the older ones that were 65 and 60 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, KFC, and all mm -hmm. of them started Colonel at a, Sanders, at a yeah. later age. <laughs> yeah. And we think because it's later, God make it greater. Mm -hmm. My gosh, mm -hmm. that's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So I thank God for it. Yeah. And, you know, that's my story. And all I'm right. Gonna, like you say, and I thank God that he did so many impossible things and he's still doing mm -hmm. impossible things. Mm -hmm. Even when we went from uh, leasing the church and owning the church. Come so on I now. I thank God, you know, because some people say, well, you can't do that by mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't do that, you know, you and your wife, you can't do that by yourself. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can do it. Mm -hmm. You need this, you need that. All we need is the tools called Jesus. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. All so right. You know, like I said. All so right. All right. I thank God for all of you. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. That's right. You, I, I love that. He said, I believe that God yeah. always can do the impossible. But you got to believe that. Yeah. You you got to believe that. Yeah. Because if you, if you try to think it's going to happen on your own, mm -hmm. uh-uh. You got to believe, but that, yeah. that was great. I think somebody needed that this morning, yeah. Pastor. Yeah. But thank you for joining me on this special edition of Walking 1K uh, with Gigi. Yeah. And while I'm up here, I just want to wish everyone, all the fathers, a happy Father's Day. Yeah. You know, tomorrow is your day. Yeah. So, and I, I'm walking beside one of the greatest fathers. Now, I have to rank the fathers now. <laughs> my top father is my heavenly father. Yeah. And then my second father was Elder Thomas Matley that took me in and adopted me as his own, just like Jesus did. But this man right here, I tell you, he is an awesome father. I want to give you your flowers while you are here. Yeah. You know, my mama used to say, give me my flowers now, because if I'm laying up there, I'm too proud to speak. But I want to give you your flowers. Yeah. I want to wish you a happy Father's Day. You've yeah. been an awesome father yeah. for almost 40 thank years you. now. Thank but you. I thank you, Dad. I call him Daddy, y'all. I call him Daddy, he calls me Mama. Uh, uh, <laughs> but we want to thank you yeah. uh, for joining us for this special a uh, walk in 1K with GG, And yeah. don't forget, God can always do the impossible. Yeah. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you for joining us and walking with us this morning. Bye-bye. Yeah. Before you close up, yeah. you kiss on that one. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And don't stuff. forget, subscribe yeah. to the Jim yeah. Nugget Amen. channel. Amen. All right. Y'all be blessed. Enjoy the rest of this weekend. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.